I am back at Uncle E's where you have to have over 50% Hawaiian blood to live back here. Today, he's gonna show me how he catches his food. So let's go check him out. She Oh, this place changed a lot. There's a big massive swell that came in and just washed everything away. Uncle E. Hello everybody. How you guys? Kind of nuts today, out of conditions. Today the water, real rough. <laughs> we had, <laughs> yeah, we was gonna throw net, we was gonna maybe dive, but we're pretty gnarly. We just go prepare some of the food we already get for tonight and then maybe holo holo this evening. Yeah, so what happened over here? Everything's all slanted, huh? We had one big water. That's what we call them, big water. Come in and smash through and went through our kitchen site. That whole thing got all washed out from this big water. So it's high tide with storm waves. My picnic sta table stay in the bushes about 30 yards from where it was. One thing to observe, the shape of the coconut trees going from here to here and look at all these nalpacas downzito today look a little rough for us guys going out there so we might have to go inside of the some of the alkaline ponds and go get some opaya i don't know we see what happened but the whole thing is you know make one plan and try to do them with the plan when you're playing with the aina the aina talk to you and i didn't tell you not today bro <laughs> I wouldn't recommend today. It sounds like a bad idea. It is a good example of how high the water came. I'm like six foot two. This is how high the water came. The world is changing, guys. Strap in. Put the your seatbelt on. Hey, so coconut trees is super important to Kanakas, huh? That's why we get so many. But, you know, in the old days when the queen, she used to go visit places, the village, in order for respect auntie, respect the queen they were doing certain thing that like inaugurate the celebration of her visit one of those things was you would slant one coconut tree down some of the brothers and sisters out there the kupunas they know about that i did them with this one oh, yeah? Uh, in the old days they used to take the whole village they put ropes around the tree and they pull down one tree and then you know coconut trees they're real resilient they don't die so then the thing is grab and then just go crooked and then boom the thing going upswing you can just hang out of here in the sun during the day the thing on a good angle soft you know, a nice curve on your back <laughs> and it's, it's just super accommodating and Bruh, if you let me lie down over here for two more minutes, I don't take one nap. I can guarantee I can sleep, bro. <laughs> this bugger comfortable, you should try them. After I get out of this, you pop film. Bro, you should try them. But this is old school. This guy. They don't grow like this natural. You didn't make them. <laughs> the picnic table used to be right here. And now it's all the way down there. When the big water came in, Everything went move and everything got all bust up. And then so like this thing is heavy and it's got pushed from all the way over there to over here. The table got put on top over here. This is all by the natural doings of the earth herself. Mama earth. So I'm not mad at her. Uh, we just gotta go move everything back. But one thing I like everybody realize is that sometimes you li you live as, you know, when Aloha I know, you know, one of them type of Kanakas and then nature speaks nature acts nature like you kupuna she do what she do no complain you gotta just be resilient and move everything back and get to back where you know where things left off and there's nothing wrong with that but one thing i like everybody know is that aloha aina brothers and sisters look like they're living it up they get the big deal you know they get a the big fish that's because they gotta do them and this kind of stuff happen all the time. Interrupt your world. You know what I mean? 
If you if you have a regular world, that's an interruption. But for us, it's just a minor setback. And so you gotta respect the aloha and the warriors out there in the world. This picnic table is like freaking a couple hundred pounds. The fact that the water moved that thing down here is crazy. I think I'm gonna use this tree prong for just hold up the scene because I don't know if you can notice, but this thing barely hanging. So we'll go see if this works. I don't know. Might work. Oh, hey, that'll that's perfect. Keep huh? us dry for the night. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll fix them after, but for now, here you go. Oxygen. Got to get oxygen and the wind start blowing. After that, you can put leaf. You can put small stick. Woo. You can put coconut. You can put hala. All the rubbish that's there on the campsite, we throw them in. Get them going. Oh, feeling the heat, feeling the heat. But at the same time, all of this is so beneficial because when you do like this, it's like if you get coconut trees, you gotta clean them, man. Yeah. You can have all of this kind, dry stuff all over the place all the time, just making any kind, so. Oh, you can get nice wood. Yeah, that, wood was, wood. that wood was solid. It was like hard to cut through the thick one. Yeah, it's false kamani, that's why. Well, so we get all growing around here and then on chop down that tree and then the side branches we can use them the main branches we use them for building so oh, i don't yeah. waste that but like to me it's not waste if you're making one fire anyway this is my wife's focaccia she make one loaf sorry we don't can see them right now because she already didn't cook them and then we just can kind of warm them up right next to the on on the hot rock next to the fire so that we can toast them up a little bit. And I had it before, it's pretty dope. So I was hoping to share that with you, better yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, you. you cannot wait. I'm just throw them on the side. Oh, I just got blasted. Tidal wave action. How's the table? Still good? The table might be crooked, but the Aina is crooked, so. Perfect, dog. Just find one spot where the thing fit. Full hockey. A little bit straighter. Wine hammer. Woo! On this side. Put them over the rocks. <laughs> Almost perfect. What you mean right now? Why are you all so busy? I give you so much shit for doing. Oh, okay. We're gonna go check out where the king tide came through and washed everything away.
Auntie's gonna share us a story where she had to hold on to this tree for dear life because the the waves was coming so high during that time. So I also checked the water that side. Uh-huh. And suddenly the water came <laughs> big wave came here. So I had to hold this hot tree, otherwise I thought I was swept away. Did it hit you, the wave? Uh no, just a splash. Yeah. Yeah, but I was so scared. <laughs> oh my god. She didn't have to hold on a tree right over here. It was about five feet, six feet away from me. And that's how far the ocean. So you see the cliff. Yeah. And when you get big water, the wave bust through all of this and land right here where I stay. Boom! And the thing just splash up. And then that's why she is scared because it's so much water. And then you don't really expect that. Look how high up we are in this cliff and the water came this high. Crazy. We might end up just getting some on pie, so we might hold a holo inside this um, pond tonight. That could be good fun. Sometimes we focus on a trophy fish and we like good stuff and we like uh, quantity, but when the conditions tell us, ah, kind of rough Hawaiian, then you kind of got to just do it get, huh? So sometimes we go inside the tide pools at night, uh, inside the ponds at night, and then just get the kind of small stuff, you know, the kiki, like the upapalu, the baby wool wool, the adult wool wool, the opai, all of the different critters and creatures that come inside, and then we score. Eat away, we're gonna eat dinner. Oh, how's this girl? Things all boss. Just bend them back into shape. Still good. Band spanking used. <laughs> what are you talking about about right there? Brother Jason, bring some nice, beautiful wallows. Since the water is all boss and we weren't able to catch anything today, I brought something special just in case. So I like to see what Uncle E can come up with. Oh. Hey, Unks. Got some Ono from oh, yesterday. Yeah. Me and the boys went out. And oh, we're gonna need Kalua pig again. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna make with that? Maybe maybe make um, some sort of pasta. Some pasta. Um, I know we get fresh fettuccine. We're doing coconut cream curry fettuccine. I think we should just since we get the fire going. It's a beautiful fire. Like we should grill up the Ono and then sear it on the outside. We're gonna baste the ono with this lemon. Super rough, we're not trying to be Gordon Ramsay. We stay on campsite underneath one tent. So this is a Thai green curry. Looks like that in one bag. Okinawa sweet potato. We got the carrots, the garlic. I put a little prosciutto inside of over there because those guys is fancy. And right, throw some onion. And then we're gonna start off the sauce that way. So this we can slow cook a little while. I like them. I like the onions get soft. Right now we gotta marinate the fish. So I think we're gonna put a couple limes. We still get the good pakai from Kauai. So we're gonna throw some of that on top. And we'll fly that on the grill right now. The thing looked like getting a nice texture on the prosciutto, so we throw the broccoli in so that they can get a little bit soft. We don't like them mushy, but we throw them in now and we can whip that out. We're cooling down the pan now with the fresh ingredients. Woo, that bug looks nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of Ono. Mahalo to the uncles that went help and everybody that was involved. Really appreciate that. This is some beautiful, um, you know ingredients to work with throw some pakai inside 
That's the same koi pot kai I had before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that lamb in from earlier, throw it on inside, boom. After this, we're gonna throw all of this, all of the organic opala. We're gonna fly them right in a file. And then that's gonna be like a natural mosquito repellent. Juicy. We're just loaming them around a little bit, forget the, this is one real quick on um, marinade because a lot of the flavor is gonna come out of the actual fettuccine and the noodles, so. Add a little extra olive oil so the thing will stick to the grill. And then I just gonna throw them on top. And then the thing a little bit too hot around that area, so I'm gonna hit them with that. But we like sear them. That's the one, winners. On the side. See the branch on the top, the thing help, help with the heat distribution, huh? So it's not just only the bottom get, get heat on the top. Like, you know what I mean? Little bit lemon right at the end, just while it's cooling. You know what I mean? So the juices don't come out, the lemon, the thing on tightening effect. Plenty of people don't know that. Mostly because I just made it up. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I got this Oh, the fuck looks nice. Let me test the noodle real quick. Mm. You like al dente? Yeah. Mm. Al dente is a... Mmm. Mmm. I think some fresh tomato inside. Hey, back, to back to lucky knife. Back to lucky knife. What you gotta have one right now? Nice and warm. Auntie's <laughs> focaccia homemade bread with some black garlic spread. Wow. Really sweet the the garlic and all that, but the so bread. Nice. The bread is the winners right there. We get our fettuccine. Um, it's got prosciutto in it, a bunch of different vegetables. You guys seen them earlier. Oh. Um, we're gonna put it in the plate. Oh, how's that plate, huh? You said you was hungry, <laughs> bro. You the one who said you was hungry. Oh, round the middle still. Perfect. So boom, we put oh. that right on the top. Oh my gosh. And then Rasta. Yeah. Hello from the Aina. Mahalo Aina for giving us everything we get. Mahalo to our family for providing that home and love. And mahalo to the gods for everything they, are, they ever blessed us with. Mmm. How's the honor? Oh shit. Yeah? Mmm. Very tasty. They, they, I, I hope they do very well because the, their noodles are amazing. I never heard of them. This is the first time I even heard of them and we used it and it's really great. Oh, what is that? That's from your spark. Oh! My fork broke. And that's not the whole, that's not the whole thing. It still, still gets... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we make that fork out of the coconut more better. But all right, the fork busted. I gotta try this again. Oh, look at that gooeyness on it.
everything's just like really gooey and delicious all the flavors everything the curry everything just blends in nice try some ono on the hibachi Woo. you can taste the lime and lemon man that ono tastes so fresh i don't know what it is about the lime but Uncle was saying it tightens everything up, uh, so. This is some broken fuck in my mouth. <laughs> huh? Because I don't want teeth, you know. Like, this could be deadly for <laughs> a guy like me. Jason, he just spit them out. Me, like, ah! <laughs> oh, boom, fall down, <laughs> monkey. Okay, let's try it out. The oil is so good. Oh. That one had a super smokiness to it mm. from just burning on this on the fire. Yeah. He cooked the ono perfectly. Oh, oh pine, choco pine. Used to work Polynesian culture scanner. Does it smell? Yeah, mate. We might go and drizzle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I can feel them. See the hole. I actually should fill it in with rocks. Oh, oh, oh you moves, <laughs> eh? Oh, whoa, whoa. The yeah. salt water and the fresh water are mixing right here. Uh, oh, there get one. That guy right down. Oh, pie. Oh, you got him. So we get tree. Oh, pie in the bucket. Oh, pie, y'all. Oh, that's crazy that they're like see through. Oh. Oh, you can't kind of see through that. Them. Now they might be brown. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see them? They're probably already ready. Oh, Hana Pa. No way. No. Ah! <laughs> oh, how's that? They going? Oh, they're bouncing, they're bouncing. So imagine the water was like this, probably about this high, like less than a week ago. So all the small fish that get pushed in end up finding their little sanctuaries like in places like this. Hmm. Oh, this is the one right there. Hey, no spill, it's in down. Oh, it's a nice choke, huh? Yeah. Like seeing big old opal right there. Look on, where I'm pointing. Straight down. Oh, wow. Some big one, huh? Yeah. I think that's all no. What is that, like a freshwater fish? Yeah, it's a freshwater fish, Opunakia. That's an Opunakia. Yeah. So it's a bigger version of the little one we've seen in the outer pond. Uh-huh. So this one is an adult already, but he's not full size, but they get bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. He probably just whacks out all pie, huh? Pretty much. That's his job. You see him? Oh. Oh, it's a frog. Right there, you see, you see him on the you see him on the rock right there. Is that a prong? You see him right there? Or is that just some big old pie? I think this is some big old pie. Oh, that's some prong. Yeah. But right here on the top, yeah. that's some old pie. But look how big he is. Oh yeah. You see that one underneath the yeah. needle? They come in from Malka. They they live inside the rivers, and then this spot in particular is super fresh water. So, you know, they make a home here because it's abundant and the things that they like to eat, I guess. So they hang out. Look, more you bait, popped his head bait. out right there. Oh, look, right there, get one. Right there, get one. We'll catch him. You can use your foot too for like chase them in. <laughs> yeah, right there, you get a good chance. 
He's back in his hole. Do you want to stick and stick him in there? You can see him. Yeah, he's right there. He's sticking his head out. <laughs> what see? a dick, huh? You see him? What a dick, bro. He's teasing you. He's spun. Oh! oh Anapa! Anapa! After the what? Third fought effort. <laughs> Tee oh, that's a big one. Oh, you must feel like the boss in there, huh? He's like, stop. That's a crack. <laughs> Less work to do in this farm job. So it's all organic, so I just leave them right there. And then, honestly, weirdly, even though I'm pouring dirt inside there, funny kind, like they like it. <laughs> Oh look, right there, small baby puffer fish. Look at him. Look, he went right to all of the stuff I just didn't tell him. See him going underneath. Yeah. Every island you go will get different patterning based on what they're eating. And this is this Ina. The thing come pretty much somewhere in between these two. Oh, that's a lowly. You like doing catch and cook with that? <laughs> oh, you eat them. I don't like, but. Oh, is that the rain? Oh, you called it. What you like do? <laughs> Has all of these shells right now. Look on. See all the beautiful white shells. Yeah. Can make lay like that. Look the hermit crabs with the coupes on their back. Oh that sounds Oh it's coming up, huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. What does that tell us? <laughs> Yeah. No, no look like that great of a luck, yeah. <laughs> so I listen to the Aina, they bugger tell me no go, I'm not going. <laughs> I think it's based on the reality of that. Too close, sir. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I don't like be here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, brother Jason and I had a good day. We, we ate well, but just tonight, the conditions is kind of like, eh, take a nap. But we both tired, so that was a heavy dinner, bro. That was awful. So we're going to try to sleep good, and early in the morning, we'll see what we can come up with. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The water's looking pretty bust this morning. It rained really bad last night. I got really good sleep though. I slept like eight hours, so I'm stoked on that. I got small kind smoked out by the fire, so my sinuses are kind of bust this morning. <laughs> kind of feels like I got a scratchy throat. But I want to go check out the tide pools and see if anything got caught in the high tide. Man, I wish I could go dive today, but the water is just too gnarly. This is a good perspective from this angle. You can tell how high the water came when Auntie had to hold on to the tree. Eh, not too much action in the tide pools this morning. Gonna check one last spot, but I'm getting hungry. Uncle E said he gonna whip something special up with the old pie, so. Let's go check him out. Shoo! How's it, everybody? Um, lunch stay happening, so we're gonna wise all of this up. Um, getting a little late. Everybody hungry. Get things for do. Stuff for go. So boom, we're gonna boss them. This is some special Japanese peppers. 
we want to use the leftovers so today we're going to make fried rice to me fried rice is use whatever the leftovers we just like some texture and we're going to use up everything so that we don't waste i come is what the old school timers tell us so we're going to try our best for do that too look we get one um the last of the carrot that we used last night and so we're going to use that I'm gonna use quarter. A little bit grapeseed oil, small kind, not too much. Garlic oil, that much. Japanese dried chilies that we can throw in there too to add more a little bit to the spice. And then we're gonna add our broccoli and our carrot. Our onions. Smells oil. Like I said, fried rice is made from whatever you get left over. So if you look here, we got two leftover musubis and we get some leftover rice from yesterday. So the musubi gets spam in them. Roger that. Okay, boom. We're putting in two moose of these. Put the last night's rice. Yeah. No waste, one grain. Grab every single piece. Super top secret ingredient, fresh opai. Here we get the opai. Um, we heat up some oil on the bottom of the fried rice, and I just go and add these live opai right inside. Oh, we lost a couple. Yeah. Nah, only no rain. It's for you, Uncle Raja. Boop, 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 boop. MSG. <laughs> Fuyo. Yo. Fuyo. Yo. And then right there, the eggs, they kind of come nice like that. Smoke them punchy. Soup, 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 soup. Soup. Move the pohaku. Let him go back to his spot. You like them be fluffy, so you fly on them. Huh? You burn your hand a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, some for the chickens. Damn. Try that, brother Jason. <laughs> Little bit grinds. We're getting blessed with Brother Moto's presence to join us on this delicious opai fried rice. Mahalo, mahalo. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you yeah. Yes, so, Seeing the jumping jacks. What, um, what you doing over here? Chili pepper water. You just didn't make them right now? Just didn't make them. Just a little bit of sugarcane vinegar and then water Woo. and then chili pepper <laughs> Opai fried rice I'm excited for this This guy though, this guy tried to get away but we outsmarted him last night Oh that is so good <laughs> I'm supposed to spell. <laughs> mm. The shell, everything just crunches in your mouth like so good. Really nice flavor, like shrimpiness, hint of lobster. It's pretty mean. Of course. I don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's major, major. It's what? See if you can guess the ingredients in there. Oh. We can sneak one secret one in there. 
Uh-oh. You can guess them. <laughs> Not with this guy around. I'm like, any <laughs> secret sneaking in. <laughs> what are you <laughs> putting? <laughs> wow, this is major. What is that? Okay, that looks like spam. Oh no, that's not spam, that's some fish, yeah? Come on, here we go. Buenas. What, what do you think the secret ingredient is? It's, <laughs> not, it's, not, it's not a pie. It's not a pie. He cat said, out of the bag with the opai already. <laughs> yeah. It's egg did fried I, rice. Did opai. he even get the secret ingredient? It's all mixed in there or what? You use close when you first say yeah, something. Yeah, he's right there, buddy. Oh no. Right there. Bro, you can buy them at 7 Eleven. That is spam, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> secret ingredient. What that? And spam musubi. Oh. Two spam musubis. <laughs> Is that where the rice is from too? <laughs> <laughs> well, two spam musa bees and the leftover rice from last night. Let me try. Sorry, it's a small spoon. <laughs> Come in and let me get this kind of spoon more bigger. I need a shovel. It's good. The deep flavor of the opai. Terrific ingredient and one of the reasons why we got to take care of our alkaline ponds and our ocean and river environments. Stay at star fruit season so we still get pickles in and uh, I figure um, we would try out some pickles. This one kind of sweet, um, lihimui inside. So we'll put some out for the boys. Try that out. This is the regular old school. And I threw in some leaves in there, like mint and sour sop, so you can see all the ingredients. It's like caked on the bottom. Get your feet, get your reaction. It almost tastes like a, like a pickle, but it's like sweet, but not too sweet. You can feel the burn going down, yeah? Mm -hmm. Taste the chili pepper. Yeah, oh, the chili pepper, that's the one, yeah. Awesome, huh? That one is meme. Uh, that one is meme. Uncle been training, bar. You know what I'm saying? It's like candy, man. Oh, that one is so good. The lean boy. It's like not too intense. Just right. Run them out. You got to try out the red one. Let's go. First time. First time. Virgin. Cherry papa. You like put tree in? <laughs> All you want. Which <laughs> one is cherry? <laughs> pressuring me too much now. <laughs> oh, manger. If you're eating like lihimoy seed, like that is like intense lihimoy, but this is like a real mellow, nice kick to it. It's because in that jar there's like a half cup of sugar. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so it's good fun, my brother. Mahalo, brother Jason. Mahalo. Mahalo, Aina. You know, sometimes you just get rough ocean and then you just gotta eat Kalua pig, but we was lucky because we got to get some opai and make some nice fried rice. And that's the realities of living in this, Aina, you know? You get trials and tribulations and you gotta deal with it. And so that's the life. But anyhow, mahalo to everybody. So much thanks. I, I trip out, you guys even like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>